Olá pessoal, estou aqui no FTF 2015. Vou falar com o Adam. Hello Adam. Hello. Adam is going to show us uh, the Kinect Motor Swift, right? Adam. Right. So the first thing we'll do is scale up the hardware we're going to work with. So we're working with the tower kit today, and it's now communicating to the firmware inside of the that we put inside the MCU. It's also building the GUI for us to work with. This is a motor control made simple. Motor control is pretty complex. We're trying to make it really easy. So that way, let Freescale be your motor control experts, you be application experts. So let's give it some basic information about our motor. This is a 3000 RPM motor. It takes three amps of current. Oops. Three amps of current and it has five full pairs. So it's going to go take that information in and go scale the motor control firmware. But now it needs to go measure the parameters of the motor. So we need to know the R, the resistance, the inductance of this motor in order to control it. So that's what it's going to go do now. You'll see it, it'll start to spin here in a little bit. This is the motor that's connected to the power system. So it's measuring the inductance and now it's going to start to spin and do the flux. So there it goes. Okay. So we're just doing this to tune all the motor control loops. So we're tuning the essential observer and the current regulator. But now we need to tune the speed loop. That's what inertia is for. Inertia. So inertia represents how much mass the motor is connected to. Right. So if I click the button, it'll spin the motor real quick just to get the inertia of this system. So now it's tuned the speed controller. So now I need to make sure the motor is spinning. So I click spin my motor, it shows me the plot, and starts to spin the motor up to rated speed. And this is live, so if I disturb it, you can see here that it's clearly live. It's giving you real feedback of your system. And when it gets 3,000, Stabilized, it's stabilized. That's stabilized. What we said. We told it to go to 3,000, so it went there and stopped. So this way, yeah. we're making sure that everything's working for you. Yeah. So now our motor's working, but most motors don't spin at one speed continuously. They change speeds. And that's okay. what we can also build in the GUI. So we're going to simulate right now a washing machine. You can, make ah, okay. this, you can build any application in our GUI. We're just giving you a washing machine because it's kind of fun. The motor spins this way, spins that way. It, does, it moves around. So you are controlling the speed? We're controlling the speed and we're giving you a plot here to show you what's going on. So we're going backwards and forwards, just like a washing machine would. What motor, motor is this? So this is a motor for an oxygen concentrator for a medical application. So it compresses down the air and then filters out the CO2 to deliver oxygen to people who have breathing problems. Okay. So this is for a medical application. Thank you very much, Adam. No problem. It was great to see you. Me too.